Hi guys, welcome back to TOEFL with Yuva. TOEFL speaking is challenging, but if you know what you have to do, you can easily get a high score. I will tell you six super hacks for TOEFL speaking. By the way, you can access a sheet that includes all these hacks by clicking on the link in the description. Let's get started. Let's start with hack number one, paraphrase. In TOEFL speaking, you get points for using a broad range of vocabulary. Therefore, you must paraphrase the information given. Paraphrasing means using different words than those given in the questions, conversation and lectures. For example, in task one, you get a personal choice question. The question may look like this. Some people enjoy traveling on their vacation. Others prefer staying at home. Which behavior do you think is better? Explain why. When you give an answer to this question, it's important that you don't always use traveling on one's vacation, because this is what the question says. You must use different vocabulary to show that you deserve a high score. So how can you paraphrase the information given in this question? For example, you can say spending one's vacation traveling spending time abroad and going on a trip. These are great ways to show that you know a lot of vocabulary. If you want to see a full sample answer to this question, have a look at my video about that. You can find the link in the description below. Further, I have a great tip for you guys to ensure that you paraphrase in TOEFL speaking. Use your own words when taking notes. If you do this, you will use these words when you give your answer. If you use the words given in the question, that's bad because when you provide your answer, you're under time pressure. You don't have time to think about how to paraphrase your notes. And this means that you won't paraphrase at all. If you want to know how you can take great notes for TOEFL speaking, check out my video about that. The link is in the description. Do you find this video helpful so far? If yes, you can help me too. Click the like button now so that other people know that this video can help them prepare for their TOEFL test. Hack number two is use linking words. When I took my TOEFL speaking test, I used a lot of linking words. They are amazing because they boost your TOEFL speaking score. What are linking words? Linking words are words such as first, second, however, nevertheless, and so on. For instance, when I explain my reasons in TOEFL speaking task one, I always start with first and second. For example, in my answer to the vacation question we were just talking about, I say, first, I think that spending time abroad broadens people's minds. Then I go on and explain my reason. When I start with my second reason, I say, second, I believe that going on a trip makes people more confident. This way, the TOEFL examiners know what I'm talking about. This helps you deliver a well-structured answer and this will boost your TOEFL speaking score. You can find many linking words in my TOEFL speaking template. This is one of the reasons why a speaking template is awesome. 
If you memorize the template, you will have all these linking words in your head and you will naturally use them in your TOEFL. This way, you make sure that you get a lot of points for vocabulary. If you need a template for TOEFL speaking, check out the link in the description. You can access my templates for all TOEFL speaking tasks. Tasks 1, 2, 3 and 4 there. We will move on to hack number 3. Structure your answer. If you want a high TOEFL speaking score, you must structure your answer well because this gets you points. Also, this way you ensure that you address all relevant aspects that you need to mention. How can you structure your answer? You can do this by using linking words such as first, second, for example, and for instance. This way you show the examiner, look, now I'm going to talk about my first reason or now I'm going to give an example. This will make it a lot easier for the examiners to follow your thinking and it will improve your TOEFL speaking score. Hack number four is use complex grammar. Guys, use complex grammar in your answer, such as if clauses, different tenses and relative clauses. This way you show the TOEFL examiners that you have great language skills and this will improve your TOEFL speaking score. For example, in my answer to the vacation question that we were talking about before, I use an if clause. I tell the examiners that I believe that going on a trip makes people more confident and that I once traveled solo to a foreign country. And then I say, I'm sure that I wouldn't be that self-reliant today had I not had that experience. This is a very advanced sentence. It's actually an if clause, but without the if. You could also phrase the sentence in this way. I'm sure that I wouldn't be that self-reliant today if I hadn't had that experience. Both versions are fine and show the TOEFL examiners that you know very complex grammar. Let's check out hack number five. Use contractions. If you want a high TOEFL speaking band score, you must show the TOEFL examiners that you speak English how it's usually spoken. For instance, English native speakers don't say I am or you are when speaking. Instead, they use contractions. They say I'm and you're. This is informal language. The TOEFL speaking test is informal, so you can definitely use contractions. In fact, if you do this, the examiners can see that you know how English is spoken in an informal context and this will improve your TOEFL speaking score. Finally, we will end with hack number six. Speak with intonation. Don't talk like a robot. You're a human being. When you are speaking, make sure that you say things with emphasis. Let me show you an example. Let's take the if clause we were just talking about. I could say it like this. I'm sure that I wouldn't be that self-reliant today had I not had that experience. You can also say it in this way. I'm sure that I wouldn't be that self-reliant today had I not had that experience. Which of the two do you think is how people would say it in everyday life? Which one is more convincing? The second one, right? 
If you want to convince somebody that you are sure about something, you show your certainty when speaking. This makes you sound more natural and will improve your TOEFL speaking score. That's it! These are six super hacks for TOEFL speaking. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you have any questions or a video wish, tell me about that in the comments below and I would love to see you here next time. Bye bye!